questions do you think, sir? I got cross. Dibs cross. Come on, baby. I'll take close by air. I think it's going to be cross too, but I'll, I'll take close by air. I'll be wrong. Yes. <sighs> I'm mildly... All right, Kibbles, you choose next. You get to choose next game. Okay. Subbar text. Gonna read. But this is the quarterfinals. And it is a best of three. Let's put that gorgeous scoreboard up. Swap these players. Start these intros. Katu, would you take it away? All right, guys. Welcome here into the quarterfinals of the North America Play Hemdale. You've got Kibbles and myself, Katu, casting for you. Spawning here in the left-hand position, it's going to be EPI's Bingo. He's playing the Red Zerg pieces. And I love the capitalized O there, Kibbles, because it lets me know that I have to pronounce it Bingo. You yeah. Know, real emphasis on that. You know, we do have a hard time with that as casters, knowing exactly how players want their names pronounced. Yeah. Uh, for instance, Mineski Strife. M-S-K-I. I mean, who would expect that to be pronounced Mineski? I call him M-S-K-I. So it's so. good to know it's not E-P-I bingo, but E-P-I bingo. Yeah. He's really firm with that bingo. I like this not... guy. Yeah, he's definitely from like a lower <laughs> middle class family. You know, he really shows his enthusiasm when he gets a bingo. Whereas, you know, some richer people would just be like, bingo. I have gotten you know? the bingo. Yes. Quite. And uh, on the other side, in the right, it's going to be our Blue Protoss players, Xenex Avenge. And um, looks like both of our players here bring, playing pretty standard in this early game. Of course, these guys are both so good. And Protoss versus Protoss has changed so much in the past two weeks. It's actually a little bit crazy. From going into like away from the four gate towards, uh, or rather, like the four gate counters, and towards counters to the four gate counters. Uh, like Phoenix play or just super quick robos um, straight into like three gate blink stalker type of stuff and uh, we'll have to see here what these guys have in store for us of course their Cyber Knight scores only just started so no tech here gonna be revealed for a little while now we'll see if players uh, attempt to use this you know the the new uh, probe I'm gonna stand next to your assimilator and make you not be able to build one but Bingo is going to jump right on that. We did see both players click on the Assimilator Hour. Avenge, meanwhile, also dropping his second gas, so uh, probably not going to see any 4-gates out of either of these guys. So will it be, you know, a counter to a 4-gate counter and a counter to a counter of a 4-gate counter? <laughs> we'll have to see, Katu. I don't know, man. There's a lot of counters. It feels like they're rem remodeling their homes. And uh, Bingo here trying to chase down the probe of Avenge. Now, are they going with granite counters, or will they go with that gorgeous-looking white marble? We're going to have to wait and see, guys. Well, looking at it, I mean, Bingo, he's got the extra probe out. He used that extra chrono boost. I think, you know, with that extra money, he will be able to afford the granite. Yeah. The granite. But uh, I think, uh, you know, Laminate's going to have to be Avenger's choice here. He's just going to be a little bit too poor. I know a really good Russian guy who does granite countertops. We'll see if they choose to hire him, but meanwhile, these zealots are going to be banging on each other's doors. And, Is it uh, Mineski Strife? <laughs> no, he's from the Philippines, man. He's from the oh. Philippines. Why is he called Mineski? I don't know. Does it mean it something like in Spanish? like he just shot back from the Russian space station. Mineski? Mineski. Yeah. Hey, Mineski, I come back from the Russian space station. They had no more vodka. Oh, you, you got a thick Russian. Oh, man. Yeah, the Russians I'm... I interact with actually live in America. <laughs> hey, you, you, you watch too many YouTube videos with Russians in them. <laughs> Russians who chug 20 I know, of it's insane, man. <laughs> Saw a guy, like, banging himself on the head with a bottle, empty bottle of vodka. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that one, but it was funny. Dude, you can watch Russians drink bottles of vodka all day, and you will not run out of videos, Kibbles, but we got a bit of action here. We got one zealot sneaking in, and he's basically just pulling away the units of Bingo here, trying to do some damage. Meanwhile, Bingo was going into a four gate, and uh, Xenex Avenge here is actually just putting up some pressure while he's going for Blink. Now, he missed his Blink button and just chrono boosted nothing at the Twilight Council, and he's going to be ridiculously pissed off with himself when he realizes that he doesn't have Blink on the way yet. Yeah, he just... Yeah. He actually does he realize yet? No, he doesn't. He's, da, he, just... da, 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 da. he realized. Okay, so now one of his stalkers goes down, maybe in a, a little bit of 
expressing a frustration, but uh, takes down a Stalker in return, so Avenge getting his revenge. Now Chrono boosting his uh, Blink on the way, and looks like he's actually going to turn this into a 4-gate Blink Stalker build, as he realizes how late his Blink is dropping. Actually, you know what? He's just he's just being a boss right now. That's, that's what he's doing. Pretty much, man. And it's going to be very similar builds here out of these two players, except that it looks like uh, Avenge is going to have that extra gateway, like you mentioned. He's up to four, whereas Bingo just has those three gates out, so he's just not going to have quite the production that um, that Avenge has, but he's going to have Blink finished quite a bit sooner, so he might have a nice little window of opportunity there where he can just like poke up the ramp, fire, and then Blink back before he gets hit and uh, snipe a couple of units that way. It can be so annoying to deal with because, of course, if you Blink while those missiles are in transit, it doesn't matter, and they never end up connecting. Now, will a Guardian Shield go down here for Avenge? No, it doesn't. He just lets a Sentry die without really doing anything there. Blink about to wrap up for Avenge, and it is done, but not before he loses two Stalkers for free there. Avenge definitely not in the greatest of positions right now. Reveals his Blink, though, to the Observer, which is really good for Bingo's sake, because he was working completely in the dark right there. Uh, hasn't seen virtually anything of Avenge's base since uh, that start. So, blinking in Bingo. Might just win the game right here. Yeah, I mean, it's been some nice blink there from Avenge, but... Bingo here just has way more stocks, and it just comes down to the fact that Avenge here, he's got four uh, gateways. He can't afford to produce out of four gateways, so he's actually behind by 150 minerals here, and uh, Bingo able to get that stalker lead. All the probes here getting pulled, and it looks like Avenger trying to blink forward, trying to do some damage, but he's going to give the GG, and now Bingo up one nothing here versus our Zenex player in this quarterfinals. That he is, guys. We're gonna run to a real quick commercial break because there, are, uh, there's pretty much never any time in between these games. Like we just jump right in the next one. So, this is Kibbles. This is Katu, and we will be right back in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. Apparently, there's betting sites in Sweden. Yeah. For StarCraft Two. Hmm. Interesting. Quite into I I have no Swedish accent. I don't. I don't even. I don't even. Yeah, I don't even have one. Like I don't even know what to try to I'm do. I'm from Sweden, da. Uh, no. Yeah, a little. It's um. That's my imitation. So of... a little German mixed with not German. So we'll call it <laughs> Swedish. I like it. Ned, you ever see Trading Places? No, I I, I, I have no idea what Sweden people Swedish people talk like. Oh, okay. Um, training Places, it, all it has is um, Jamie Lee Curtis, okay. who tends to be a Swedish person, and that was my imitation of Jamie Lee Curtis imitating a Swedish person. So that's as accurate as I can get, because I don't know how they really sound either. Trading Places. It's Eddie a great Murphy. movie, man. Yeah, Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd. Very good movie. It's like, since we've got a couple... Oh, our players are ready, so we're going to go into this game here. But as it loads, it's about, like, Eddie Murphy's a bum. And these two rich guys place a $1 bet that they can turn the bum into an executive. And then Dan Aykroyd's an executive, and they turn him into a bum. And that's the bet that they can, like, trade their places. But then Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy wise up to that plan and hatch a scheme of their own, which I will not reveal. And you can just go watch the movie. All right, guys. Well, there was your latest IMDb, IMBD, IMDb. I think database yeah. lesson for today. But we've got a game two here. Let's put some scoreboards up for our players. And they're changing colors on us, Kibbles. Isn't that just the worst? Both of them, man. They literally are just trying to be on the casters right now in the bottom right hand corner. The Pink Protoss. To... You were supposed to, Katu. <laughs> <laughs> Did I disconnect? Oh, God. The Pink Protoss, Zenix Avenge, now is totally trolling you in the top left hand corner. Teal Protoss, EP Bingo. They're going to face off here on Antigua Shipyard. See who can take this best of three series. It's the MLG version, so cross positions only. Indeed. If we see one of them not scouting cross positions, we'll promptly let them know. I 
No, I don't think we should do that. Shouldn't we, though? You know what? In my opinion, it is the player's job to know what each map feature is. And you know what? If they don't know, they don't know. If they ask, See, I'm not See, they should know to them. ask. They should know to ask. Yeah. I'm exactly. not going to lie to them. them. <laughs> <laughs> Huang Sin asks if it's the cross positions only map. Katya tells him no. No. <laughs> It's close positions only. He lifted his nexus to the gold base. <laughs> um, yeah, and you know what? I think these guys, maybe they had a bit of the cell right before. Like, they had a toast with some Vassell margarine before this game because they, they switched to the to the baby colors, man. They're feeling young at heart, I think. Yeah, I always, when I see... This is my favorite matchup colors, actually. Um, when I see the pink and teal, or... Yeah, te it's more of a turquoise, but... When I see the pink and turquoise, yeah. you know, it really uh, makes me think of cotton candy, man. And it's so soothing, you know? It really is. I'm going to paint my room in these colors. Ah, uh, you should. <laughs> this, If you had a, a bluish green and pink room, Katu. Dude, imagine bringing a girl back to your room <laughs> pink, pink and aquamarine. <laughs> and you're just like, welcome to my palace. Mike, can you call it your lair? Can you call it your lair? Yeah, with the pink and the aquamarine. Yeah. My underground lair. Welcome to my lair. <laughs> and she just <laughs> bursts out laughing and uh, proceeds to pull out a extra small condom because she just assumes that that's your size after seeing your room color. So, uh, yeah, that's how it would work out. And that's why you don't want to color your room in pink and turquoise, guys, out there. But uh, Avenge here this time doesn't look like he's going to go for the same aggression he went for last game. He's going to be adding on gateways number two and three. And uh, they are getting added at the same time here. It looks like he might go for a fourth gate. And he did only put one probe here in that third assimilator. Stop mining from it. Mm, looks like a straight up four gate coming from Avenge. Yeah, you know, Stop if 20 probes. It, it worked, it should have worked. Uh, or Was it? So it was Avenge who opened with the 4 gate, correct? Not Bingo last game. Now that we've switched colors on both players, making it super hard to remember, but uh, quick four or three, three Stalker and a Zealot out of Bingo. He's going to be expanding and imminently dying, possibly. Yeah, well, it's going to be really tricky here. I mean, Avenge, if he pushes out too He's got early. Two gates. Um, if you get if he pushes out too early, then these three Stalkers and Zealot are going to clean up his army. Now, luckily, uh, and Bingo, actually, he's got another pylon down, so he's warping in a couple of extra stalkers here. He's moving out to engage here, and he really wants to chase down that stalker. He needs to kill it. Meanwhile, the four gates here of Avenge are complete. He's warping three stalkers there on the high ground, so he will be able to engage us. But for the time being, it's actually pretty even, man. Six stalkers to five stalkers, and right now, Bingo knows what's happening. He's like, oh, man, you're four gating me, bro. That's not cool. And a great job here so far from Avenge kiting those that Zealot as he focuses down the stalkers. He's going to take down that Zealot, and the fact of the matter is that Bingo just doesn't have the production right now. He's adding on a robotics facility, and he is buying himself a bit of time here, which is actually really, really beautiful, Kibbles. He might be able to sneak out an Immortal before this four gate truly hits. And if he does, it's going to be fantastic for him. Avenge, though, this pylon, he managed to sneak that in during this entire thing. He's got three Stalkers up in the base of Bingo that are already warped in and uh, doing damage to the probe line. Now Stalkers from Bingo are trapped in between Xenix uh, Avenge's lower army and his top army. So he's going to get sandwiched like an Oreo here, except it's going to be the cotton candy, teal, and pink kind. Yeah, no one's going to want to lick this middle here, these blue goop Stalkers. I guess they're not blue goop dragoons anymore. They are just dead now. Um, Bingo using a force field, canceling his nexus. He's uh, uh, in, uh, by all manners of all, way behind at this point. He is up in economy, but he needs a century. He needs it now, and he doesn't have it. And uh, Avenge is coming into the base. Bingo has next to nothing here, Kazu. That is the absolute truth, Kibbles. And um, the only other absolute here is that Avenge is going to win this game. He's going to tie up the series one to one with uh, straight up four gate play man we've seen avenge four gate two out of three games so far all right guys well that uh ties it up with another four gate two out of three avenge 
four venge. I don't know. I feel like A looks like a four. Mm. I know it's part uh, of lead speak. But you I don't could 